Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, formerly known as Julie's Weight Loss Journey, now called the Fasting Pharmacist Weight Loss Journey. For those of you who are new, I'm on a mission to lose 100 pounds and I'm documenting my journey on YouTube. Here's what you're going to get in today's video. You're going to get an inspirational quote, you're going to get my Fitbit steps, my sister's Fitbit steps, uh, talk a little bit about the Will and Stace Fitbit challenge from another YouTube channel that I really like my healthy wage contest, and a public service announcement from your pharmacist. Let's begin. The quote today is from one of my very favorite people who's no longer with us, unfortunately, Martin Luther King Jr. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Martin Luther King. Repeat, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. This can be applied to so many situations, but I'm thinking about it right now with my health and with the world's health and with the condition of this world's health. And I want you to think about what can you do to make this world a better place with health and how can improving our health influence another person around us? People you work with, your family, your friends, your coworkers, your children, your parents, your boss, the mailman, the lady at the grocery store, a stranger, a neighbor, a friend, a stranger's. It's amazing that I see strangers out when I'm doing my walks or whatever I'm doing that just do a wave, you know, because they're saying, good job, we're both out here. So everything we do influences people. So let's talk about steps. As I predicted, my sister was working the home show and I knew I'd be seeing numbers over 20,000. So we'll first start with my steps. 11,000, 5, 8,137, 6,347. This was my weekend of work. I work every other weekend. I work three days, and I put in about eight extra hours each of the three days. So I did not take any extra time outside of working or sleeping to do any uh, hiking, having to do that more like on my days where I don't have a long day. Um, and that would be March 1st, 2nd, 3rd. My sister steps, yay. She's a 51 year old female that was very athletic and she had hip injury. She's trying to, you know, get that to recover and I'm trying to track her steps to see where she goes with it. And it's been really fun, you guys. If you can find someone to track steps with, a family member, a friend, coworker, even a stranger, somebody on the Fitbit site, you don't have to even know them, it's just fun to, to talk. And I encourage you to talk about it. <clears throat> Excuse me, don't just look at numbers on your phone. Actually have a conversation and talk. We giggle, we laugh, and we say, how many steps are you at, how many steps are you at? You know, And we try to make it a healthy, fun competition. Even though we always joke and say it's not a competition, but make it fun. We laugh so hard about this because we're both in bed talking about our steps. And I'll say, you know, it's only 9.30. I could get out of bed right now and do three miles. And we, we kind of crack up. All right, so her steps, 20,000, zero to one. That is like her highest ever since tracking. Next, she has 21,397. And if you guys saw my last video, I'm like, I bet my sister's gonna be much over 20,000 working at the home show. All the walk from the parking lot, walking on her feet all day long, walking back to her car, tons and tons and tons of walking. It's a mile probably to and from the parking lot and getting to the place you wanna go. When you guys go to the mall and go to these things all day, you're just walking. I mean, it's a lot of calories burned. It's good for your core, it's good for your brain. It's good for your whole body. It keeps your muscles strong. If you guys don't use your muscle, they just dissolve. They, they just waste away in atrophy. All right, going on next, I wanna talk about Will and Stace. Um, they are somebody that I follow their YouTube channel and um, Will just actually won Into the Sun with Steven Seagal, so we'll be getting that out to Will, hopefully. Just need to get his um, email and he sent me a request, him and Stace sent me a request on a Fitbit challenge. So another person in the YouTube community, we're watching each other's progress. They're doing amazing on keto, oh my gosh. Will has a longer way to go. Stace is more towards her goal, but she still has goals. She still wants to maintain and stay healthy. Will has a longer way to go and I've got a special place in my heart for him because I wanna see him 
get off his type 2 diabetes medicine because it's such a scam. You don't need to be on those. You just need to correct it, reverse it, and get rid of it. And you will never be on any medication, Will, if you can get to your goal. So I'm watching you. I'm following your challenge. Healthy Wage, real quick, is something I'm in. It's a contest. I'll link it in my description. It's basically where you make a bet on yourself to reach your goals. You put in so much money for as many months as you want. You pick the number of months, the number of pounds, and how much money. And if you meet your goals and make your promise, they give you a quote. You decide if you like it. And then once you're in, like I'm in right now, if you list your link and somebody clicks on it, they get 40 bucks, you get 40 bucks, so it's a win-win. I've already had five people join me on my challenge, so I'm up 200 bucks on my prize. So now my prize for July, if I reach my goal, is going to be 2,900 bucks. And that's why recently I just got a weight loss coach because one of my viewers on YouTube reached out to say, hey, how'd you like a coach? And it's working fantastic, which leads me to next, my weight. I'm so happy if you can't tell, because I had a little, a little time here where I was going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down because I had events, I had parties. I cheated. I allowed myself to have um, some beer and some candy and some fun appetizers and go to parties and socialize and all that. Um, that's well and good, I guess, but you lose like a week every time you do that. So now Corey, whose channel is always 100, is coaching me and giving me an actual fasting schedule. We're not honing in on the exercise so much yet because even if you can get a hardcore fast and do not cheat, even if you don't exercise, you will lose body weight fast. So, um, pun intended, right? My new weight, March 2nd, March 3rd, and I'm really, really happy about this. 210, my lowest. And then today, 209.25. Do you guys realize I came from 244 and I'm about to be in nine pounds? I'm going to be in Wonderland which means below 200. So right now I'm at 34.75 pounds down. That's gonna be like 35 pounds tomorrow because I am not cheating. And I am now, the first three days he had me a schedule, very strict of 25 hour fast because he took my 23 hour average and said, let's push it and reset your hormone called ghrelin. So we're doing 25 hour fast for three days, which I've completed successfully. Now I'm gonna do three days of 27 hour fasting, no cheating, and I'm using the snake diet, Cole Robinson snake diet recipe on the snake juice, and I am, the snake juice is amazing. Like, I, you don't like the taste at the beginning, after four weeks you'll be like, you love it. I love it now, <laughs> I think it tastes like milk, it's weird. It's filling, it's got four electrolyte solution salts in it if you're new to my channel. Um, it's amazing, so last but not least, my subs. March 3rd, 186 and comparing with my coach Corey, because I would like for him to put out more on his channel, because he's got a great product, he's so smart and he's he's just awesome. Um, he's at 181 subs, so I've been challenging him to compete with me on subs. 186. And last but not least, a public service announcement from your pharmacist. I want to give a little education to the public because everyone can benefit from these tips. Um, couple different things. I want to touch on, yesterday I watched a video from, I believe it's called Taking Down Fat with C-Dubs. I hope I'm not wrong on that. But he talked about obesity and he's a wrestling coach and he has such a great channel. I love all of his videos, so thank you. His dad's a pharmacist, so he must be awesome. Just kidding. But anywho, um, he talked about back in the day, people would pay to go to a circus to visualize and see an obese person, because an obese person was just a freak that no one's ever seen before. So someone to be obese, you had to pay money to go to a circus to see an obese person. That is unbelievable. He also talked about statistics, and I could be wrong, but he said like 15% of society is obese. Now I think it's over doubled that to 35%, and we're well on the way up to um, higher. We're on track for that. 50% are pre-diabetic, which in Cole Robinson's mind from the snake diet, he says you're diabetic if you're pre-diabetic, so don't try to sugarcoat it. Bad pun. Um, and 50% are having all kinds of medical diseases from complications of type 2. Type 2 diabetes is reversible, you guys. If you get diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, you can correct it 99% of the time if you could just figure out how. Um, if you follow my journey, once I get this 100 pounds off, I might even delve into coaching.
myself or getting into type 2 diabetes. I feel very passionate about this. A lot of my obese family members on my mother's cousin's side, they were, they were 400 and 500 pound people and they all were type 2s and had all kinds of complications. And um, I just have felt passionate about it because they're the greatest people in the world and they're so nice, but they've had the struggle of obesity and type 2. That's another biggie. Um, think about if you've been told you're type 2. I've met so many people in my career that just think that's it for the rest of their life. They're never going to get off their meds and nothing's ever going to change. And they have this disease now and this is a life sentence and they're always going to have it. And it's just simply not true. But it's like they don't realize they actually have the power to correct it, repair it, heal, and get off their meds, mostly through fasting and maybe adopting a keto lifestyle, exercise, and just getting completely down to their goal, their ideal body weight, and repairing their liver, their pancreas, and all their blood sugars. Sorry for the long video, guys. Have a great day, and I'll be checking in with you tomorrow.